Nambi Narayanan is one of the many backbones of the Indian space industry. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. Last week, we watched the film Rocketry starring R. Madhavan. The film takes us through the life of Nambi Narayanan. Nambi Narayanan is one of the many backbones of the Indian space industry along with people like Shri APG Abdul Kalam. Here are three takeaways from the film that have touched my heart and I'm sure will help you in your lives as well. Number one is hard work and dedication. Number two is commitment. Number three is dignity. Number one, hard work and dedication. The film takes us through the life of Nambi Narayanan from the time when he studied at Princeton. We can see his determination and hard work to learn various scientific principles. And later on, we also see how determined he was to take the Indian space system to where it is right now. We can see his determination in how he brought back missiles and paths from Russia, although a war was going on, and how he was determined to learn more and more things for the country. Number two, commitment. In the film, we can see how so many scientists learned French, moved to France for three years, learned new technology, applied the same, and went back to France to test the missile that they had developed. This is 101% commitment to the goal of establishing an Indian space industry. There were so many difficulties that scientists like Nambi Narayanan, APJ Abdul Kalam and Sara Bai also experienced while they were working for establishing the Indian space industry. But they were head fast. They developed ISRO to what it is today. It tells us how grounded the foundation of ISRO is and how we as a country have developed various industries such as the space industry which is now leading in the world. The third and most important factor that I have learnt from the film is dignity. All of us have some or the other level of dignity about ourselves. Nambi Narayanan was accused of so many wrongdoings but he came out with flying colors. He was declared innocent by the Supreme Court. During the interview that Nambi Narayanan had with Shah Rukh Khan, Shah Rukh Khan went ahead and apologized to Nambi Narayanan on behalf of the whole country. And you know what Nambi Narayanan replied to him? Nambi Narayanan said that I cannot forgive the country because he underwent all the suffering in order to prove himself right. He also fought for money against the defamation and false accusations that people placed on him. This is something that you and I can learn. This is the biggest life skill that we can acquire. I have also been going through such situations for the last six to seven months. I have been called a fraud, a stranger and what not. So many people have made false accusations on us. But we are here fighting. We are here fighting for our right, for what is our dignified right in this whole establishment. So this is something that has touched my heart. A scientist who served the country for 60 to 70 years, although has given and contributed so much as being called a Dresh Drohi. Similarly, myself, my mother, we've been in our father's organization for almost 25 years. Still, we are being called a stranger. We are, we are being called a fraud for what we have legal rights in. So for the last month, there have been compromise talks going on and there may be a resolution in sight. But it, this brings me, and especially the movie brought me to a question. What about the dignity that I've lost? What about the false accusations? What about the defamation that has happened? Where is the accountability to all of this? 
and I have come out with this clarity that my dignity that I stand for is the most important for me. You know, we see political shows going on every now and then. We have seen how people start lying because of some vested interests, because of the satta that they want. And to what extent do people fall down? For me, my authenticity, my dignity are my identity. So, I stand strong for my dignity. There have been some multiple proposals for the resolution of the conflict, but they were not dignified. They were things which they intended to bottle us and, you know, just take us for granted. But I'm here standing for my dignity, for what is right. I'm not a fraud. I'm not a stranger. I haven't committed a crime. I have done everything which is legal. So it begs a question of how a conflict resolves. A conflict arises, a conflict resolves. The topic dissolves also. This is just natural. The human mind is so futile. You know, a change of perspective changes reality completely. One thing is right and the second thing is wrong. This may be my experience. For you, it is completely different. In the film, Nambi Narayanan, you know, would have committed suicide. He would have left the country, fled. He could have got a job in NASA or whatever. But he chose to hold his ground. He chose to keep his dignity. And I do too. And you should too. Never compromise on your dignity. Because that is what creates you. So yes, go ahead and watch Rocketry. It is an inspiring story of how our country has been built. Not just from a country point of view, but from an individual's point of view as, as well. I'm sure the way the film has touched me and ignited multiple thoughts in my psyche, it will do so for you as well. Thank you. Bye.